Right, so welcome back to the channel. Um, this week's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Um, having sponsored videos on the channel just gives me the chance to just do a little bit more with YouTube and frees up a bit of time so I can make more content and stuff that you guys like, which is what it's all about. So, as I said, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative people on topics including illustration, design, uh, photography, video, freelancing, YouTube tutorials, which is work wonders for mine. Skillshare is a great online community for creative people and also for people that want to know more about other interests via its huge online store of classes. Skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and skill level. So if you're short on time but still want to learn, then you're in luck. Most of the classes are under 60 minutes, give or take, with short lessons to fit any schedule. So if you're on the train, commuting to work, sat parked in your car, waiting to pick someone up, or even in our game, sat in your van at lunchtime, having your dinner, and you want to catch up on the classes or learn a little bit more, then you can fit a lesson in dead, dead easy. So one of the videos I have been watching on Skillshare has been this, social media storytelling videos that connect with Lily Singh. Lily Singh's really good at showing you just how to make your content um, be at the forefront of what you're trying to do, really, uh, and just sort of show a great way to interact with the people who follow you on social media. When you join, you can try one of Skillshare's live classes. These are really good. You experience in real time some of the classes as you connect with others who are online, sort of live at the same time, while watching and working alongside other members interested in the same goal, which is perfect. Members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. So. Also, I've got an offer. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get one month free trial with Skillshare. So you can start exploring straight away. It's a really good offer. First 1,000, when they're gone, they're gone, no more. So thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get on with a little bit of plumbing, shall we? I've got to do something I've been putting off for ages, only because I've been so busy getting here, there and everywhere, doing this, that and the other. We're probably all in the same boat. It's cleaning the van out. Um, you know when you just get on, jobs on top of you and you just throw stuff in, throw stuff in, throw stuff in, even throw this bleeding thing in. Yeah, we all know what that's about. So I'm gonna clean the van out, get it all as I want it and, um, and just sort of go again really. First thing though, get my radio going. You know what I'm like with my radio, my music. A load of you got back to me and told me what channels you listen to, which is quite interesting. Quite eye-opening. I'm a right one for putting bags in bags in bags. Like I've got bags of fittings, loads of bags of fittings, and then I put more fittings in another bag and more fittings in another bag like waste fittings when I've got the racking in the van to put the waste fittings in. I need to, I need to stay on top of this. <laughs> it's doing my idea, I'm only two minutes in. Right there we go, we've had Hetty out, got everything out basically. I'd had Hetty out, giving a bit of a hoover up. I always put carpet in the bottom of my vans because it uh, just makes them sound a bit, you know like when you've got all your stuff in it doesn't sound a rattly and everything like that. So I always just bang a load of carpet in. So add Etty out, hoover the carpet up, and we'll start now getting stuff back in. But what I did do is, let me show you, because I seen this on someone else's video ages ago. Cracking little store for your uh, pipe bender. Just a bit of tube, chuck it in, job done. Can't remember whose it was, I think it was on Instagram maybe. But yeah, works a treat. Getting there now, starting to get the stuff back in. Finally got my big wipes uh, hold up fitted i've had it knocking around the van for ages so what i do i keep my tools here my, all my hand tools here real close to the door um so i can just literally fire the door open get to my stuff and uh and there we go so we've got to get the to get in just some bits and bobs um but yeah get in there but like a tidy van 
So that's the van cleaned out to a degree. I'm going to go to my lockup now, dump a load of stuff that I don't use a lot in my lockup. I've got rubbish there. I'll swing by plumb base, see if they're open, see if they clean the bins out, I can chuck that in. Uh, but yeah, so I'll go to my lockup now, empty the stuff that I don't use, and just freeze up a little bit more room in the van. Right, Tuesday morning, uh, the van's all cleaned out as you've just seen from yesterday. Got that all sorted, dropped some bits off to my lockup. So there's uh, plenty more room in the van now. So today we're going back to the radiator, the like uh, decorative rad that was in my last video because the other one that was in the lounge that had to be bolted together with the with the two bits, that's been, the bits for that have been sent out. So we can go and get that one in, run the pipes on the bottom through the wall, connect onto the valves, and also salamander have uh, the customers run me and said there's the replacement pump there for the salamander um hot water pump so we'll swap that over as well that's literally just valves off swap over plug in uh right we'll go there see if we can get a parking space and get the gear out of the van right told you i have to park miles away you see the van over there it's literally park right over there and the job we've got to get to is up here. So every trip I've got to go from there, right the way down there. But, never mind, nice little stroll, get my steps in. Right, so this is that rad that we've uh, come back to do. And because the walls are so dark in here, even though we've got, got the light on and the light there, it's just a bit dark down here, so we've got the light here. But, <coughs> Basically, I've never done one of these before, so you've got to bolt these two rads together, okay? So they come with these fittings. If I can get it out on a that way. <laughs> so they basically screws in that way. That's normal, he says. Put the right way around. Right. So basically, that one's going to screw in that way, like so, but it's got to screw this side in at the same time, so it's a, a double, I don't know how you do it, it's, the thread on it is one of each way on each side, if that makes sense. Clockwise one way, anti-clockwise the other way, so it can all be bolted together at once. It's pretty fiddly, I know that. So that one screws in that way, so then... That goes that way. So, as you turn, basically, as that's turned as a whole, as that's all turned as a whole, it bolts the two together. Um, and there's a key in this box. So, this is the key that basically slides in the end all the way through to sort of there. And that end's going to stick out and then obviously we can turn that turn that which turns them nipples in both top and bottom all in one and bolt it together so what i think i'm going to do is put some loctite on there because there is where is it yeah there is washers to go on in between like so but uh it's going to be just a case of bolting it all together and obviously you'd never know if it's sealed until you fill it up with water so i'm going to lock tight that up uh, paste that up and then sort of start it in position off the other side up and then go from there i think it's going to be a bit fiddly right so i'm going to paste up only ever so slightly because i'm not too sure how much because it looks like they split so let me put a bit of tape on them and before the the tape please come at me for doing the, this one now backwards it's because the thread on it is backwards so it'll have to go that way won't it I'm only going to put a very small amount on and then I'm going to put some paste on it. And the same with this one. 
it's all a learning curve on these, I'm afraid. But you just use your brain a little bit and, and, and do what you think would work. That's all right. Pasted in there, taped up on there. So what I'll do, I'll just, what I'll do, I'll just start that one and just start. As you can see, I've got these. This one's wound in ever so slightly, pasted up the sides, got the rubber ring on, same with the bottom one. So now we'll feed the key into here. Feed the key into here, like so. And tighten, I'm going to try and tighten that so that bites and then do the same for the bottom one all at the same sort of time so if wish me luck I don't know how this is going to end up to be honest just as I'm tightening it up it's pulling both of them together I don't know if you can see that or not the same with the top hopefully so it's tightening that one up together and we do the bottom one a little bit now that will pull it in. I should have put a few more washers into them <sighs> so I'm going to undo them put two or three washers in them and uh, redo it I think so I'll get back to you when I've done it because <laughs> he's doing my thing right because if we put that street hour on there it's just not just ducking down too far it's just gonna it's gonna make that part just dip down like that and it's gonna look crap so what I'm gonna do is 
just pop that in there do a very slight little kick up into that pipe and then uh, put a couple of there and join it in so just done that little sweat bend there and pull bend so it'll basically go like that just a very little kick very slight little kick there these uh, sofas going in front of it so it's not a, you know, not too obtrusive but just because we didn't have the height and it'll make that pipe dive down so we'll bang a couple on there get that done sweat it sweat that in and uh, be a lot better right so now we're down under this cupboard so we're just going to connect onto these two isolation valves onto there and then that will feed through to the rad because it goes through there down to there but as you can see it's quite squeezed Right, we're all filled up now. Just let the air out, and those two joints. I'll give them a wipe over. So I just wanted to let the, the the pace set a little bit. So yeah, so we're all good. We can wipe down the floor in that now. Get a little tidy up. But yeah, all is well. We'll pop the heating on because we've got to change the pump upstairs anyway. So pop the heating on, test that, and we're going to change this pump. Right, that's that job done and dusted. Rads are on, working fine. Uh, pump swapped, and that's that job underlined done. Ticked off the list. It's been on the list a while. I say we've done the rads, pot carcass, the rads months and months ago. And then John Ali's kitchen fitted, and they just sort of uh, tail onto themselves a little bit. But that's that done. What I'm going to do now is pop up to my daughter's house. She's just got a new house, and the carpet fitters are in today, fitting the carpet. So I'm going to swing by up there make sure everything's all right up there i'm sure i get roped into something um that's the point i've got to go to plumb base as well and get some boxes for her moving so we'll go and do that as well uh right let's get on with it and also the first thing you do is go around and check all the plumbing under the sinks as we do and to be fair it's pretty neat actually so yeah all is good That's the doors eased for her, so she can crack on with that. But now I've also been roped into uh, paint the fences in the garden. Dad, could you uh, help us paint the fences in the garden? Bloody kids. <laughs> 